River Severn looking south from Sharpness. So if we use a rather shaky zoom to look over the other side of the river, we can see a very historic structure over there, which is Lydney Harbour. First built with a canal in 1810 to 1813 and extended from there. There's one of the problems they had. Look, look at the silt inside that lower basin. One of the problems that you get with the Severn, I'm afraid. But then looking there to the uh, left and the foreshore, and then if we zoom right, the foreshore there, and before the harbour, that's all you had. So it's a big improvement on that. And then if we look at the harbour again, and then we pan slowly to the left, you can see the mass of the ships actually moored up in the canal. Still there. Need to have a look. And although it's very pretty on this side, we're going to have to cross the river. Take a closer look. And here it is up close, with the tide on the rise, I think. And looking a bit treacherous. That's the view up river. A system of capstans or pulley wheels here leading to the capstan. He's for the capstan if we all turn around. He's for the David to lower the boat down. Merry, merry, so merry. And you can see the wear on this one. Look, look at these grooves here. It's done a fair bit of work in its time. And all driven by a capstan. That would enable you to warp your sailing ship in and out of the harbour. No engines. Here's a curious feature, look, a lamppost. Except it's not, is it? Is it a manually operated lighthouse? Uh, no, I don't think so. It's a signal lamp. So there will be different coloured lenses at the top and they will rotate it shining out. So that will indicate to mariners whether the harbour was available, whether the gates were open. So this is the entrance to the harbour then. This is the first basin, which is the tidal basin which would allow shipping to come in and go out at uh, different heights of the tide, which may not correspond with the height of the canal in the lower basin above it. At the far end of this basin then are a pair of lock gates. Doesn't look like they have a water supply problem here, does it? And then above the lock gates is the lock proper, which is there. With another set of lock gates which then lead you into the curiously named Lower Basin. And this is where all the boats would come to load and unload their cargo. Quite a wide uh, basin as you can see. So there were wharfs then, loading and unloading uh, docks all the way down there and on both sides. And then above the basin is the canal proper. And that was accessed via this uh, swing bridge as you can tell by the curvature in the bricks there. And there's the canal then leading up into Lydney. A bird's eye view of the basic layout. Tidal basin down there first, then the lock, and then the lower basin, which is connected then to the canal to Lydney. So that gives you the basic layout. So now we can have a wander around and explore, see what we can find. You've got to be honest, it does look a little bit like a boat graveyard. Oh, one or two nice vessels in here. I don't think that's been anywhere lately. And, uh, crafts of all shapes and sizes. And I guess that once upon a time, somebody's pride and joy. Oh, gosh, that looks a bit sad, doesn't it? Didn't even have time to use the life belt. Wandering back down Dockside then, there's some of the old administrative buildings, now taken over by Lydney Yacht Club. Wonderful old building. And there's an inconspicuous looking uh, office for the harbour master. Not very salubrious, is it really? But look at the wear on those steps. My gosh. A building there with no clues to what that might have been. And yet another store, a ministry block. 
No, in fact, it's the Moultrie. Oh dear. And the building next to it is well built as a store, a yeah, Chandler storefront. And this huge great pillar here, part of some other structure, no clue as to what that might have been. A bit of modern day artistry. Rather good, isn't it? Right, and so now if we cross over to the opposite side of the lock, See what we can find and the first thing we see is this absolutely beautifully restored original building. Look at that. No clue as to what it was. But it's sitting there dockside so it must have been important. Walls, does that look railway? I think it might well do. And indeed it is. Yep, there you are. There's turntable in the foreground, look. There's the remains of it in the foreground there. Amazing. Archaeology before your very eyes. Oh, look at that. Big old sailing ship. Shows you the sort of trade it had. Log barges waiting to go back to Avermouth. And look at the size of the steamer there. It gives you an idea, doesn't it? The impression of size. Obviously not much on telly that day. And that's a lovely overall view of the dock. But look at this, look, this is uh, by that turntable where you take the loaded coal trucks, tip them into the barges. And if we look today, some old bits of stone there, an old post. And then if we look up above there, look at that, part of the original pieces of the old uh, structure. Amazing. And there, look, so you can work by night, the light. A lovely set of old stone steps there between those two levels. Absolutely stunning finds. Let's take a last look at the foreshore then. There you can see the stones piled up to absorb some of the impact of the tides, the waves. No idea what that is. And then if we look out there across the river again to Sharpness, that's where we started. I look at the size of those bollards, you get a lot of rope on there. Right, back at the so-called lower basin and down at this left-hand corner we find a sluice and this controls the level in the basin. All the excess runs out there straight out into the Severn. This canal obviously didn't suffer from the usual problem of a lack of water. Looks like they might have had a little bit too much of it. Certainly if they're all flow running down there. And here you can see the paddles to allow the water in and out of the lock system. Or let the water in rather from this direction. And some gorgeous old steps on this side, complete with a cone. Taking you right down to water level. Gorgeous block work there. the corner. We'll leave the docks behind at this point and go back up to the railway level. And it looks like this is where they brought the coal in. You can tell it's railway looks, it's got railway fencing. Somewhat unique. Oh, there's some skill involved in that, crack. Looking down river, and now we have a wreck. Kind of. out on the shore, actually it's put there to stabilise the shore. Once a working vessel, that'll be the bow then, or the stem if you prefer. Apply these waters, no doubt. All that's left. Right then.
What do you reckon? Yeah, well, you would sat there, wouldn't you? Mind you, wonderful views. And a quite stunning walk, to be honest. Very occasional glimpses of the canal. You wander off to the side. But that's what takes your attention. Down the estuary, out to sea. Another small uh, visible patch of canal here. Look, it's got a lot of water in it. And no issues with water on this one. Well, I've seen a few of these in our trolls. Blockhouse guarding the Severn. Eventually going to here, which is the head of this particular canal. I thought there was another one dug. Mr. Putter. He went all the way then, through the knee and off to the upper forge. Job for another day perhaps. This is where the canal, just just outside uh, Lidina, the railway, that grinds to a halt. View of the canal from the opposite side, looking through the trees. I suppose I'd say this has got water in it. Just a stroll down here. On this piece of road, I was expecting to find, because it uh, goes alongside the canal, some wharfs or what have you. I'm sure they use this for loading and unloading, but I suppose if you're used to being up to your fetlocks in mud on the river, anything here was pure heaven. There is only one dock visible, and that's this one, complete with rails look for a crane. So I think we're going to call it a day. That, ladies and gentlemen, is Lydney Harbour. It's well worth a visit. If you enjoyed my film, please go to my channel, and there's another 50 films there waiting for you. Meanwhile, please subscribe, like or share. Catch you on the next one.